Hey, number one, let's get started. Your first two messages about what's coming next in love are the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so you have two eights here. Two eights um, really gives me a feeling that you're willing to work hard in a relationship, that you want to make it perfect. You want to get it right this time. I feel like for some of you, you may have stayed longer than you should, or you're someone that has a hard time letting go of past relationships or moving on from situations. Even if you feel like they aren't working out, you're going to keep giving all, you know, you're going to keep working at it. Um, eights are also about money about manifesting they can indicate something about work money or some sort of change when it comes to your relationship um, this is about letting go and walking away um, but what's interesting is there's an eclipse picture here which is this is the only card in the tarot that shows an eclipse and we just ha we're going to have one on the 18th now i think this is going to post after that so it'll be interesting to see if you've made some sort of decision or um if something comes up concerning a connection you have now or a desire to move on from even just the way you view relationships right you could be making that kind of change and walking away but there isn't there is a resistance here there is like wanting to stay or wanting security and maybe being afraid to leave a situation but this message is about putting in your all giving it a lot of work and time and effort so someone could be coming in who's connected to you through work. Someone could be coming in who's gonna give you that all and give as much effort and work to a relationship as you do. This can also be a connection to an earth sign, which would be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But let's see what else comes up. But the eights are really important because you got two of them. So the message of the eight, which is about like that building something, creating something solid. Okay, justice. Justice is showing me that all of your decisions of the past are determining where you are now. And so there, there, if there has been something that you feel has been unfair or unjust with justice upright, it's showing that you will win. You'll be victorious. You have justice on your side. This is also connected to the sign Libra. So some of you may be Libras or involved with Libra. Um, but this is really showing me about balance and fairness, right? This is about staying put in things that maybe aren't emotionally fulfilling and this is about working really hard no matter what so i feel like if you've been working really hard and haven't found someone yet who really does that as well i feel like that's going to pay off you know the fact that you really care that you put in a lot of effort is going to pay off for you in the future okay this also shows a need to be really honest, to speak your truth, to speak up, to say what you're feeling, and to communicate, right? This could also be that something comes to light, some decision is made or some information comes to light, maybe even around, if not this past eclipse with the one coming up, um, that really kind of pushes you in a certain direction, okay? But let's see what happens here. What else do we have for you? Okay, so there's the 10 of wands reverse. That's that's taking on a lot of burdens and someone who's got a lot of weight on their shoulders, right? Tens are also showing me that there is an ending coming, that there's a major shift and change. And I feel like it's someone coming in who can actually help. Um, somebody who, like I said, is going to give as much as you do in relationships. And I feel like you may have stayed in something where that wasn't the case. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. The queen of pentacles reverse next to that eight of pentacles. So this is about maybe some losses. This could be like someone taking advantage of you financially. Um, maybe you've stayed in something where you're just not getting that return. You're not getting that investment. And um, 
a shift and change is coming where you're going to bring in someone who's actually going to be there for you and be helpful. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, this is about being self-sufficient, focusing on yourself. We go from an eight to a nine, so you pick up a pentacle. And I feel like it's you're investing in yourself. You're realizing that, you know what, I've really invested a lot in relationships where the other person didn't invest in me. And the universe is saying right now it's important for you to invest in yourself, for you to not carry all of the burden of a relationship, for you to have, oh, I wish this wasn't, um, I see that that's, glaring on there but here's the justice card for you need someone who is going to um you know give you as much as you're giving a fair relationship let me see if i can move that just a little bit so this shows you being successful being independent, being financially secure, um, maybe getting a new job, maybe starting your own business, something really positive um, that is important for you. And it's important for you when it comes to love, for you to feel good about yourself, to take care of yourself as well um, as, you know, care about others. And I think that's what's happening. So you're going to be in a connection with someone who values that, who sees you as successful, who sees you as independent, and also who really appreciates all that you do. But I see you being really comfortable and happy. And the nine is in addition to the eight. So you go from eight to nine, you're adding a pentacle. And here you were losing it. There's that pentacle. So I think whoever was draining you or whoever was taking without giving, you may remove from your life. Um, and that ends up adding to your life in some way. So yeah, you could have a Libra or Aquarius coming in. We have the King of Swords and the Justice card. So um, this is Libra energy. This can be Libra or Aquarius. This is someone who's obviously very straightforward, a, a good communicator, someone who's very concerned with honesty and fairness. I feel like this is what you're moving towards. You're moving towards a connection with someone who's really confident in themselves, um, possibly an air sign, somebody who really values honesty, somebody who um, is not super emotional, but they, they give you what you need, okay? They give you support. I feel like they're very solid. Yeah, this could even lead to marriage here because we have that the Justice card, and that's connected to Libra energy, and Libra is connected to weddings, to marriage, to one-on-one um, -on -one partnerships. So let's see what the Art Nouveau, what major arcana message you have today about love. Ooh, the tower. A conflict is coming to a head in your life. Relationships will need to be reevaluated and restructured in order to maintain. So if you have a connection, if you're in a relationship, or if you have someone you've been dealing with, this Eight of Cups energy, where you haven't been getting support, right? But you want that person to put the work in. You're going to have to be really honest, speak your truth, speak up, um, make sure that they are not um, taking advantage of you, and get what you deserve here. The Tower is a moment of transformation and change, but it normally leads to something better. So it's like a breakdown of structures that aren't really solid so that you can build something solid. And look at the King of Swords. I mean, he's sitting on a solid um, throne. He's very comfortable. He's very solid. So I do think that there's an important shift coming for you and it may be you kind of speaking up for what you want in relationships for some people it's going to be ending a connection where the person isn't putting in enough effort um and i do think that it's going to lead to something better because you're coming through as the upright nine of pentacles which is being comfortable being secure feeling good Okay, I think I'm going to pull you a message from the Queen of the Oracle because it just feels like 
It feels like the right deck for you today. Assessing, yes, and there's that nine, just like the nine of pentacles. Okay, beautiful. Um, and, you know, assessing. You might get some information, like I said, around the eclipse. That's going to really have you questioning. Am I staying put where I shouldn't? Am I staying in a situation I shouldn't be in? Um, you know, am I, do I need to release something myself about the way I'm approaching relationships? Am I getting back all this, you know, effort that I'm putting in? So, Right now, your message is assessing, is to step back, take a look at what's going on in your life and see where you need to make changes and where you can focus more on yourself and building yourself up in order to connect with someone who's going to really be your partner and be your equal. Because we have this scale here, which is the scale of justice. It's all about balance. Okay, so a lot about balance here. Okay, I think I'm going to pull you a message from the Goddess Oracle. Let's see if there's anything else you need to know about this King of Swords or this connection. Clarity. <laughs> Look at this. Assessing. She's looking through this telescope so she can see things clearly. She's taking a step back. She's evaluating. That's what I see going on for you. I see you getting clear, getting clear about what you want in relationship, getting clear about maybe even a specific person or situation. Evolution. Yes. You are evolving, you are changing. And even if a conflict does come up, um, it's time to reevaluate something. It's time to get clarity in order to evolve. So even if you end up staying in the relationship, it's like, listen, it can't go on the way it has. And if you're completely single, you're gonna attract someone who sees you um, and values you fall. So that's right now. That's right now. That's exactly what I was feeling. So I feel like something's kind of come up either during the eclipse, which um, is happening on September 18th or the next one after that, that's gonna really bring you clarity, okay? It's gonna bring you clarity about an important issue in your life that relates to relationships and to love. Let me get the Astro Dice. Any other messages? Okay, eighth house. Money, the money you share versus the money you keep. Um, legacies, alimony, um, inheritance. Jupiter, good fortune, good luck, expansion, Sagittarius energy, and you have Gemini, which is the other air sign. We had the King of Swords, we had Justice, we had Aquarius, we had Libra, and now we have Gemini. There's a lot about communication, about air sign energy coming through for you. Clarity, what, you know, seeing things clearly. Gemini rules, is ruled by Mercury, which is about communication, thinking, speaking, your mind. That really feels like the focus here, okay? Something big is shifting. Time to take a step back and assess. Ooh, I love it. That's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Hit the like button before you leave. Write your comments below before you leave. Say hi. Let me know where you're listening from, what country you live in, what state you live in. If you live in the States, I'd love to know that. Um, and before you leave, find the super thanks and leave a donation to the channel. I am raising money. This is uh, obviously all free content, but in order to upgrade my equipment and my cards and my decks, I rely on your donation. So please hit that before you leave as well. And next month I'll be setting a goal and get keeping a tally and showing you guys where we're at. So eventually maybe I can get a studio and be on camera, yay. Okay, so I will see you back here really soon. Don't forget to do all those fun things before you leave. Take care. Hey, number two, let's see what's going on with you. What's coming next in love. Your first card is the Knight of Cups, beautiful, and the Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, so the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is 
some sort of movement happening in terms of love. We see the knight is on a horse, the knight is carrying a cup. This is a, generally speaking about a relationship, a love energy coming in. This person is pointed towards the future. I feel like um, this person is very kind. They are um, ready for a relationship. They are very much interested in connecting with you. They could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. They don't have to be, but a lot of times it's a water sign or just someone who is emotionally available, somebody who's romantic, somebody who wants love, you know? Um, with the Ace of Swords, this could be a couple of different things. This could be someone who um, you know already, somebody who's tried to connect with you before. This could be someone coming back to connect again or making another attempt at connecting or asking you out again. This could also be confusion, being unsure, not having clarity about a situation. Um, so there's something that we don't know. Either it's it could also even be that this person is keeping their feelings to themselves right now, or they have a reason to keep their feelings to themselves. So let's explore. Let's find out more about this Knight of Cups and this situation for you. Let's pull you some cards. What's going on with the Knight of Cups here for number two? of wands. So there's movement. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Why the Ace of Swords reversed? What's going on there? Aha. Five of Cups reversed. Okay. I'm going to pull one more. Aha. Okay. So Here's what I see. I think one of you, and it might be the Knight of Cups, has gone through some sort of heartbreak, some sort of loss, um, some sort of sorrow when it comes to relationship or just been hurt. There's definitely a card of loss here. Now it's reversed, so I feel like there's a healing coming. There's something about moving on from this, okay? Um, I feel like this could also be that this person is a little confused because you are, if this is you, you are kind of, trapped in your own head about something okay and that could be this the ace of swords so it's like you don't know whether you should go forward with this person or not and i feel like it has something to do with your family or their family we have the ten here of pentacles now the thing about the ten of pentacles is there's two people here they seem happy there's two dogs over here in the corner now is this person over here hiding good or bad i don't know it's, right now i i feel like even though this is such a positive card there's something hidden here or there's something you don't see there's something there's something else going on okay there's some confusion here and it has to do with some self-doubt okay i and if you're the person that's feeling that way then that would explain why you're not moving forward or where that, you know, you have some doubts, you have some self-doubt. It could be also a combination of this person was hurt in the past or maybe maybe you two are trying again. This, this is possible. I mean, 
This could be someone from the past coming back. There's been some hurt in the past and you have to really get past some blocks here, right? Um, we have two eights, okay? Eights are about manifesting, they're about work, they're about wanting things to be perfect too sometimes. There's a lot of activity here. There's a lot going on. Now, this could also mean that this person is from a different culture. They could be very close to their family. Um, they could, you could meet them online. You could, you know, meet them through a dating app and just not be sure if they're the real thing or not. So you have some fears or some worries. Um, but there also could be a family situation here. Now, um, with the Ten of Pentacles, Tens really show me that there is a major shift and change coming. It seems like it's going to be for the positive. It seems like this person and you could have some potential, but I see the blocks here as well. So let's just pull a couple more cards and see if there's any advice or anything else we need to know before we move on to the Oracle messages. And I feel like they're going to help give us a little bit of clarity too. Okay, because this is a little of a mixed message. So let's see what the advice here is or anything else we need to know. Okay, so that was the full reversed. Yeah, that's again, being afraid, being afraid to make a change, being afraid to go for it, being afraid to make a leap of faith. Somebody's afraid to take a chance here. And this could be an air sign person, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So we have a water and an air. Ah, seven of swords reverse, see? Okay, so we're going from the eight to the seven and we have one sword here, so we're losing a sword. So yeah, this is trust issues. There's definitely trust issues. It could be because of some sort of family situation or something that's just making one of you uncomfortable. Maybe your family has a lot to say or his family or her family has a lot to say. Somebody's afraid of taking a chance here. But the knight's coming in upright with the cup, you know? So I feel like it's whoever is this sword person or the other person in the connection is afraid. They're afraid of making a mistake. They're afraid of making a fool of themselves. They're afraid that this person is full of crap. Yeah, Knight of Swords reversed. There is a lot of confusion on this side, a lot of confusion, a lot of past stuff that's really impacting. Now, if you dated a Libra Aquarius Gemini and you are kind of projecting that situation onto this new person, I would say they're very different, if that's you. Yeah, this is something that can build over time, okay? You're gonna have to pick and choose. You're gonna have to find out who is really on your side when it comes to this relationship, but I do think it has potential. Okay, you just have to take your time and go slow, but you do have potential here with that three of pentacles. I feel like you just have to kind of tune out other people and focus on what you two have. But let's see if there's any advice from the major arcana. I'm gonna use the Art Nouveau here and see what the major kind of overall message for you about love and your advice today in terms of this relationship, the world. The present moment will bring you the fulfillment of a wish or a long desired change in scenery. To find satisfaction, you must accept the ideas of others to be equally as valid as your own. Wow. That's interesting because we do have travel, possibly foreign, and I said that could be from a different culture. The world card indicates this could also be the case. We have movement and change. Um, there's something about this person bringing movement and maybe helping you move on after a broken heart. But it's going to take a little bit of time and there could be some travel involved, okay? Let's see what advice or information we get from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. growth. Yeah. 
This is a growth relationship, okay? So we're moving on from some painful backstory, some some other conflict or some insecurity. We're letting go of liars. This is going to take time. That's the message. You see she's holding a, a pocket watch there. This is going to grow. And also we have the world. We have the whole world there and you got the world card. Okay, interesting. A lot of Libra energy. See Libra's right at the top there. Right at the top, Libra and Scorpio and Sagittarius are showing. But yeah, we have the world. You're this is a big this is a big shift and change. So it's like one step at a time, okay? One step at a time. Yeah, that's what I think it is. I think this is a big shift and change. Your world is opening up and um, it's about not being insecure or worried about what other people think or feel. Just, you know, going for it, right? The full reverse says there's some sort of leap of faith or there's something that you're afraid of doing, afraid of taking a chance with. So just take your time, okay? Take your time and get to know this person. But this is the fulfillment of a wish and could even move you somewhere. Remember, we started with the knight on the horse. So there's some movement here possible, even like a physical move. Okay, anything else about this knight of cups? There you go. I feel like there's a past love or there's some old wound or hurt that you need to let go of. And in order to move forward with this person, that's what you're going to have to do. Labels. There's money here. There's family money, possibly. This person owns a family business, or you do. But this is showing me with the Ten of Pentacles. There's money here. Um, potential. Family business. Legacy. Advice. Yeah, get advice, trust advice. Go to people you really care about. Don't listen to the naysayers, but go to somebody who really has um, nothing but you know, love for you and is not competitive in any way, okay? Um, and also trust your inner guidance about this situation because go by how you're feeling, right? This is a growth thing. So growth is hard. Moving, you know, on from past hurts is hard, but all of this looks really positive. So ooh, I can't wait to hear what you have to say here. We'll throw the after dice and see if there's any other signs and symbols today about this person. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini coming up. We have Leo, 12th house, North Node, okay? North Node is, this is karmic. This is meant to be. This is a growth situation. Just as your message from the um, Queen of the Moon said, this is growth for you. This is your world growing. You got the world card. This is about your destiny. This is following your path. And growth takes time. The 12th house is about releasing and letting go. And we also have Leo here in the mix. So there could be a Leo coming in Ooh, or a Leo in the picture or a Leo you're releasing. Wow. Okay, those are all your messages. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Before you leave, hit subscribe. It's free, it's easy, it really helps me. Hit the like button, write your comments below, say hi, let me know where you're from or what state you live in or what country you live in. I love, you know, I love, got, you know, just getting messages from you guys. Um, and I am raising money to improve equipment, possibly move to a studio and be on camera. So please leave um, a tip or donation below. I'm going to let you know next month what our total is for the month and what I can purchase with it, including new decks. Um, all of this is great. I am sending you so much love. Big growth happening for you in the future. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number three, let's get started with your reading today about what's coming next in love. Okay, so you're starting here with the three of swords reversed. I'm glad to see that reversed. And you have the Emperor. Okay, wow. So let's start here with the Three of Swords. This shows a broken heart. Um, sometimes this is about, most times it's about a relationship and a broken heart. Sometimes it's about 
a three people being involved or um, a triangle situation or a betrayal of some sort, cheating, third party situation. Um, this, is, this is looking like in the past though, not in the present. And this is looking like healing energy. So it looks like someone is healing and moving on from a broken heart here. We also have the emperor coming in now. This could be an, a person who has the qualities of the emperor coming for you in a new relationship, or this could be a relationship with someone that you're healing from who has the emperor qualities. The emperor is card number four. They are solid, they are stable, they're financial very very successful good with money um, somebody who others come to for advice this is someone who's very much in control of their own life who has very independent um, this is connected to the sign Aries you see all the Aries Ram heads here um, so this person could have Aries placements but they are very much, um, health, they have a very healthy ego, they feel confident, they're very good with money, and they're very solid. Like fours are about stability. So there's something very stable about this person, okay? Um, now, I'm not sure whether this is the person you're healing from and moving on from, or if this is a new energy coming in. It'll be different for different people, but let's get more information through the tarot and then I'm going to get oracle messages too so we can dive really deep into what's coming next here for you. Okay, so we have the six of wands reversed which is no victory it could be someone who's um lacks confidence or somebody who um is unsuccessful somebody that feels defeated somebody this could be this fire sign it could be this emperor person this could be a relationship not working out Aw, but look who's coming in, the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is bringing an offer of love. This could be from a water sign. This could be someone who is young at heart, somebody who is very open, wants a relationship. They are giving you this cup. There's a little fish in there. They could be a Pisces. They could just be very romantic. Um, this is an offer of love that's coming and um, it feels like it's helping heal a broken heart. Now, water sign energy is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They don't have to be one of those signs. They could just be someone who's very much um, a romantic, who's interested in love, who's emotionally available. Somebody who's kind and nurturing. And no matter what their age, they have sort of like a young sort of way about them. Okay, so this could be someone that has um, been interested before in the past, but maybe you were in a situation, okay? Um, this could be connected to an offer coming back. Something that you thought was impossible could be possible, okay? But there also could be some issue here around money, losing money, or something like that. With that ace reversed, it's like, it could also mean that this is short-lived. It's not long-term. It's just a short-term connection. Let's see what else comes through about this. Aha. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so if you are someone who is very much interested in security, somebody who's nurturing, someone who really cares about like their home and owning a home or entertaining at home or just being cozy and secure, having a good job. Um, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could have someone helping you or someone who's assisting you um, in making this 
a reality, this old, this offer that didn't work or this opportunity that you missed. I feel like she's got the pentacle, okay? So she's holding on to it. And either that's you or that's someone around you. And what's that got to do with the Page of Cups here? Let's get more about the Page of Cups. Aha, Six of Swords reversed. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull one for the Emperor. Let's just do all this at once and then I'll have a better idea what's going on here. Okay, there's the Emperor. And now one for the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay, and actually I'm gonna pull one more on that Queen. One more about the queen. Okay. So here we go. Let's take a look. Um, <clears throat> I feel like the emperor is the person that um, might be a future connection for you. I feel like the Ace of the Page of Cups um, could be stuck on their own heartbreak, okay? Or they could be stuck on a past offer, past love that they don't seem to be able to move on from. I feel like there's some sort of um, there's somebody le being left here, okay? So we have the Six of Swords. Somebody's leaving. Somebody's moving on, leaving. Um, but in, in the reversal, they're staying stuck in a situation that they should leave. There's three people in this card. There's three people in this card. And you started with the Three of Swords. So I feel like someone, and it could be you, is hanging on to an ex or a past situation that they really need to let go of. Okay, it's over, it's not successful, but maybe part of you can't let go of it. You need to take a step back and evaluate the truth in the situation regarding that past situation, if that's you. What I see future-oriented is the emperor, okay? This person is looking towards the future. And I feel like <laughs> they're not gonna hang around forever because at first he's facing this way, now he's facing away. And so I feel like, and this is the three as well. So you just wanna be careful with triangle situations and situations where you're not being clear or the other person isn't being clear about past relationships, okay? I think for you, that's an important message today. Um, but I do think there's potentially two people that you're focused on. One could be the Page of Cups and one could be the Emperor, okay? So you're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to take Take, take stock of what matters to you and what you have, what, what you value. Look and see what the other person's actions are, not just their words. Take a moment to step back from a situation if you're not clear, okay? That's what I'm getting. Um, but let's see what the, let's do the major arcana first and see what your kind of overall relationship lesson or message is. The star, consider balance and restraint when finding solutions to your current problems. Yes, the right amount of help and encouragement will bring harmony and happiness to your circle. So yeah, you, that's that taking a step back, the four of swords. You need to take a rest, you need to take a break. There is healing possible, but you can't do the same things that you've done in the past, okay? There could also be an Aquarius involved here because um, the star card is the card connected to Aquarius. Now, let's see what message you have from the Queen of the Moon about love and relationships change. Thunder Moon. Ooh, okay. She's pushing away. There's massive, massive change going on here. So all of this has to be settled. Let's just take a look for a moment because there's a lot to take in here. How many swords you have? You have the six of swords, no victory. You have the three of swords. Um, this is lack of success. Three of swords, which is that hurt heartbreak card. The six of swords, moving on, but this person's stuck. It's reverse five of swords. And over here we have the four, okay? So we have four, five, three, four, five, six, all of swords. 
The only one upright is the four, okay? Which is connected to the number four, the emperor, which is about being calm, you know, taking some stops, take a step back. There's a lot of change going on in your life. And so you need to focus on what's most important to you. Release things that are negative, release the like drama in your life. Okay. I think that's going to be an important one. And this is about finding a new path forward. I think you're going to have an opportunity to maybe go back to something which you might not really want to go or you might want to, but maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> but you do have opportunities for a path forward as well. But there is a lot of change and healing coming. So know that because you have the card of healing, the star and the three of swords. So I think that if you have gone through a heartbreak, just know that it takes time. But there is a path forward questions yeah there's a lot of questions with all this uh sword energy a lot of questions and that's why you need to take time to figure out what's the right path for you and who the right person is group chat <laughs> yeah there could be some sort of connection to a group the star is that aquarius energy which rules groups and friends um, there could be a connection to friends, to a lot of chatter, to a lot of questions, a lot of comments, all that sword energy that you're going to have to figure it out. Look what came out. Look at this. Tune out in Aquarius. Tune out. There's a lot of chatter. Oh, my God. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this. There's the Aquarius energy, the star of healing, but also group chat, lots of chatter, lots of questions, lots of talk. There's something you need to tune out. Wow. Okay, now let's roll the Astro Dice and see if there's any final signs and symbols besides Aquarius, which is the biggie here today, I would say. First house of self, Leo, Mars. Mars is all about taking action. It's about movement and it's about change. And you got the card of change here, okay? Um, Leo, Leo is all about uh, leading, okay? It could also be a Leo involved in this situation. Mars is obviously movement and change. There's definitely a lot of change coming up for you. There is some something you need to tune out. It could be a lot of people's questions, comments, the group chat, the group think, all the people around you, which is why you need to take a step back. Oof, this was interesting and rough. I wish you luck. Um, write, write, subscribe. Click subscribe before you leave. Um, it's free, it's easy, and it really helps me. Write your comments below. Hit the like button before you leave. Say hi. Let me know where you're listening from. And find the super thanks and leave a donation. And I'm going to put that towards new equipment and new cards. I'm going to set up my goal next month, and I'm going to keep you guys posted with um, the monthly total of donations so you can see how we're making progress, okay? Thanks in advance for all your generosity. Sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon.